Greetings, greetings everyone. It's Mr. Shachar again. What we are looking at, we are looking again, we are still looking at our November uh, 2017, right? But now we are looking at this parabola graph, right? So this is going to be our hyperbola. Why am, what am I saying? So this is going to be basically our hyperbola graph and also our straight line. Uh, now, what is it that you are given? So we are told that this is a graph that consists of what? G, which is going to be the axis of symmetry, right? So then this particular graph intersect at P and Q. So that is what that is what is important from this particular graph, right? Now, the first thing they say, they want us to write down the value of W. Now, let's understand what is the value of W. Now, the value of W, basically, it is your, uh, from this graph of F of, uh, F of X, it is going to be your asymptote, right? It is going to be your asymptote uh, for what it's going to be y asymptote. And now, what is going to be this particular y asymptote uh, from here? Uh, this is going to be uh, what uh, the y asymptote of this particular graph, which is going to be a w, is going to be same as what? Uh, it is going to be same as negative one. Why are we saying that? Look, they say this graph of what? Uh, uh, this graph of g of x is equal to negative x minus 1, which is the axis of what? Which is the axis of symmetry, right? And the point of axis of symmetry passes through your what? Your asymptote, which means this particular point here, right? This particular point here, which is what? Which is your negative 1 because it's this negative 1, right? So which means it represents your asymptote. So firstly, which means your value for your w, Right, your W now is going to be given by what? It's going to be given by negative one. Now, what else are you are, are you going to do? They say the point negative two and seven lies on F. Calculate the value of your K. Now, since this particular point lies on this graph of F, what is it that you are having here? You are given that the F of X firstly is given by K over uh, X. Then this is going to be right. Uh, plus or rather minus one now because you already found out what is the w now which means you are going to only substitute what you are going to substitute this negative two and seven in this particular graph and when you are doing like that what is going to be firstly your f of x your f of x here uh, or rather which is your y remember f of x just simply represent y it's going to be seven is equals to k over what is the x negative two subtract one then you are solving for k then you're going to take this uh you know this your negative one this side so this is going to be same as uh you what this is going to be same as your eight over k divided by negative two and when you're doing that what is going to be that one uh your x here this is going to be same as your negative two uh, 8 multiplied by negative 2, which is going to be same as negative 16, is equal to what? Is equal to your k. I would get So, which means basically the value of your k here is going to be uh, represented by negative 16. Hopefully, this makes sense. Now, uh, let's look at the next thing. They say calculate the coordinate of p and q. Now, for you to calculate the coordinate of p and q, let me just conscientize you on this one. Let's start here. Uh, so we are saying from this particular graph, the graph of f of x now, now that we know it, it is given by what? It is given by negative 16. Uh, remember the case, negative 16 over x minus 1. And the other one is given by what? Uh, the g of x is given by uh, your negative x minus 1. And as soon as they say the p and q, can you see p and q? Can you see that p and q? is a point of contact for both the graph of f and also the graph of g right and if that is the point of contact whenever you are looking to calculate the point of contact or the coordinates of the point of contact you are always going to say the f of x is going to be close to your g of x that's how you calculate the point of contact and now for you to calculate the point of contact what is it that you're going to have you are going to say this is same as negative 16 over x uh, minus 1 is equals to negative x subtract 1. And then we are going to try and solve for this particular question. And when you are trying to solve for this particular question, what is it that you can do? Look, there are a lot of things that you can do. You can simply start by multiplying by x, multiplying by x everywhere. So when you are multiplying by x everywhere, what is it that you are going to have? This is going to be same as negative 16 uh, minus x 
Remember when you say x multiplied by negative 1 is minus x, this is going to be equal to negative uh, x multiplied by negative x. This is going to be negative x squared. And then negative uh, 1 subtract that, this is going to be negative x. What do you get? So then that is going to be that. Then we are going to group our like terms. This is the same as negative 16 minus x. And this is going to be the same as plus x squared. Then the x here is going to be plus x is equal to zero. Can you see that the positive x and the negative x are going to cancel each other? Then which means this is same as x squared subtract 16 is equal to zero, right? This is one and the same thing. And as I, as you can see here, this is a different of two squares. So which means this is going to be your what? Uh, this is going to be your x plus four and this is going to be your x minus four. So which means your x is going to be given by negative four or your x is going to be given by positive four, all right? So basically, that is going to be that. Now, which means why the, the positive one, uh, the positive x value uh, represent what? Represent your q. So which means this is going to be your x for your q. Uh, then this is going to be your x for your what? Your x for your p. So basically, that is going to be that. Now, they say uh, what is going to be right down there are uh, the values of x for which are uh, the what? The negative x over what? over x is greater than negative that so basically on this one let me just you know simply show you in terms of what basically they mean here now they want uh this one let me just show you in terms of how they attained this particular thing right so basically they want where the graph of f of x is greater than the graph of g of x according to this equation look if you can uh start here Remember, this was negative 16 over x. Uh, then this is same as minus 1. The other one is what? Uh, it was what? Uh, the one where the other one is greater than what? Negative x minus 1. Look what they did here. Basically, they forfeited the negative 1 and negative 1, right? So which means if you can take the negative 1 here, or the negative one there is going to cancel, right? So basically, this one and these ones are going to cancel. So the negative 16 over x greater than negative x is going to be where the graph of f of x is greater than the graph of what is greater than the, the graph of g of x right so which means the graph of g of x where it's above the graph of f of x is above and the graph of g of x is below now where is it firstly now let's start here whenever you are looking for those type of questions you always start from this side right if you always start from your uh, this is going to be your left-hand side and you move to your right-hand side, right? Now, if you start from here, can you see that here? Uh, if you are coming from here, let's say you're coming from here, the graph of F here is below. The graph of G is above, right? But now at this particular graph, can you see that the graph of F now is slightly above this particular graph? And now uh, if you are coming from this side, the graph of G is slightly below. Oh, to get so which means now up until where up until your zero right from here from this particular point up until your zero the graph here still remains above which means now this is going to be where firstly your x is going to be in between negative four and what and zero because there it's going to be where the graph of f of x is above that one and where are you gain are you going to have that particular graph can you see that uh, that now here, uh, starting from here now, uh, can you see now when you move from here, the graph of what? The graph of G is above. Can you see that your graph of G is above? The graph of F is below. So we are not going to consider it that one. But now when you reach here at point four, can you see that now the graph of what? The graph of F of X is above and the graph of G of X is below, right? So which means it's going to be also all where x is greater than y, it's greater than 4. So basically, that is going to be where both of that particular graphs are going to be greater than each other, right? So basically, this is as far as this particular question is concerned. Hopefully now, this makes sense to you. And thank you very much.